<sighs> Hello and welcome again to River Valley Farm. Um, previous video, the last video I did, I talked a little bit about future plans and seeding hay fields and doing a burn down application on said hay field and all this good stuff. Well, right now I'm looking into doing that myself. Um, we still got at least a month, if not maybe a month and a half, if not six weeks, I guess I should say, before we're going to be doing this. Um, anyway, as you can see, it's uh, pouring down rain. Hopefully you can hear me okay. But anyway, I'm not going to complain about the rain, though, because this is like our first good rain in, I don't know, six weeks. Uh, you know, we've had the occasional storm and whatnot and kind of scattered here and scattered there, but this is like the first good, solid, gentle rain we've had in six weeks. So we're definitely not going to complain about it. Um, anyway, as I said, I'm looking at doing a burn down application myself on the field that I'm looking at. Um, Roundup is available and it's reasonably priced. Um, so, looking at doing this myself. Only problem with that is, is I need to change out all the nozzles so I can get them to be the same thing. Um, what I'm using is going to be these 80 degree spray tip nozzles here that are available at Tractor Supply. So, in order to get the application to work out right, I gotta get my gallons per acre figured out. So that's the reason why I'm gonna put all these nozzles on here so we'll know what we have. Okay, they come with this nifty little chart that tells you what everything, you know, at what, at pressure, and then, you know, what pressure, speed, and then how many gallons per acre basically you're getting at this pressure and this speed with these nozzles so at four miles an hour and 15 psi you get 18 gallons per minute so uh more or less today and this is for 20 inch spacing on your nozzles i've got a couple that i'm gonna have to move a little bit and one i'm gonna have to add one not a huge deal, but I'm going to have to add one so uh, we can get the right um, spacing for everything. Like this one needs to be about right here, which means that one's got to move over. And then I'm probably going to have to add one in here to make it even out. Or actually, I'd already have to add one into here anyway, but it'll be a little bit closer that way. And then we've also got a phaser from here to there. So on and so forth but anyway today i'm going to get a good count on how many nozzles i need and get them coming and uh we'll go from there um the only real problem is is uh well okay four miles an hour 15 psi 18 gallons a minute um i have no idea how fast this thing goes when it's at 15 psi but i bet it's not four miles an hour so we're probably gonna have to put in a pressure regulator to get the pressure back down to 15 psi and then uh, go from there and in process we're gonna have to reseal or replace this valve up here with something different that's just it's leaking all over the place um the left hand boom doesn't shut off so on and so forth but anyway that's uh what my latest scheme is we'll probably be mowing hay again i don't know about tuesday this next coming week so into august the first Tuesday in August, we'll be starting to mow another cutting of hay again. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So basically, 
So right now I'm going to fire it up. We're going to measure all of our our nozzle spacings for what it's worth. Let's fire it up, raise it up, measure our nozzle spacing, see what we've got, count up how many more nozzles we need, and all that good stuff. And we may very well have to shop someplace else to get different nozzles because uh, 18 gallons a minute at four miles an hour and 15 PSI might not be attainable with this machine. So anyway, let me crank this old thing up, raise this, raise these booms up. We'll at least lay this one out and get where we can see what we're doing. Okay. folded out obviously due to proximity to the wall we can't fold out the right boom but anyway we can work on this one for now as I'm not going to take it outside in the rain to mess with it so uh, gauge the pump and this is dead idling I don't know if you can read that gauge or not, but to me it looks like about 40 pounds, which is a lot. Um, now of course, if I fire up the uh, left hand boom. We're sitting down 25 pounds, but that's an idle. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to figure something out here. Basically, my whole manifold over here needs some work. Uh, this thing open this up all the way and then you give it any throttle whatsoever it'll get up to 60 pounds in full throttle but like I said, we got to get this figured out for ground speed as well. So anyway, um, we're going to have to put in a pressure regulator. We're going to have to take this valve and do away with it. Um, this should be, let's see, these are your lines out to your boom. This should be the one coming in from the pump. And this should be your recirc your recirc line to keep everything stirred up in the tank. So uh, yeah. Anyway, we got some figuring to do here to try and make this all work. Um, like I said, we're gonna have to come up with a regulator so we can keep the pressure down to whatever I want it cut down to, which as low as possible, basically. And it has still spray. Low as possible, but still spray. And then, uh, yeah. Figure out what kind of speed I can run. Or I should say what kind of speed I feel safe to run. I know I can do four miles an hour with this thing, but I don't know that I want to do four miles an hour on a hillside with it uh, you know big tall things like this and, and slopes really don't go together I've run it on a lot of slopes before but that's been years ago and well young youth and stupidity is is what it is <laughs> so yeah all right so in order to get this to work out right 
we got to have our nozzles on a 20 inch spacing so there's 20 not quite but pretty close within a quarter of an inch i'm going to say within a quarter of an inch is good um that one's within a half of an inch or a quarter half to a quarter of an inch yeah you know we're pretty good on all of them in through here on the boom anyway here in the center but i mean that's 21 inches it can be moved a little bit and then this one here is sitting right at 20 and we have the problem here not really a problem per se but if we want it to be right yeah we're gonna have to open up both booms and figure this out but anyway as i said we're not doing it today so uh basically what i would be looking at doing is we're gonna have to scoot this one over a little bit we have to scoot this over an inch which means that has to go over an inch and then we need to unfold this one so we can understand uh well actually no we don't have to unfold that we can do it this way we can measure from the nozzle center nozzle to the center of this pivot right here seven inches and then center pivot to this nozzle which is 13 inches by 13 and 7 is uh 22. am i doing that right have a good fall okay so then this one when it's folded out in theory this should be 20 inches on the dot and then over here good Pretty good. Pretty good there as well. And there. There. And there. Okay. So all of these are pretty good. Like I said, we're going to change the nozzles over. Um, I'm going to have to go look and see if I can find a lower flow spray nozzle than what I have though because I don't think that these are really going to be the ticket. Um, I have to compare notes and see what I got versus this versus the other and see if I can figure out what I can do. Hopefully the other ones are cheaper too because that was like 16 bucks for four of them or something. Uh, and then like I said, we're going to have to find the lowest flow nozzle we can get and then probably the pressure regulator too so we can get it to work out right. <laughs> if it keeps this up for very long, it's going to get really wet really quick. 
might start complaining about rain. That wouldn't be good at all. Anyway. Uh, so yeah. The pump that's on it is what's available, basically. Um, if the flow control won't work, then pretty much all we could do would be to... Or not a flow control. Pressure regulator doesn't work. Then we will probably have to look at uh, driving this with a smaller pulley because it is not... A one to one with engine rpm right now it's going to be a little bit overdriven it's going to be a little bit overdrive on that pump which is going to make it spin faster flow more and therefore generate more pressure in the system so you know like i said we got another month six weeks probably anyway before i'm looking at doing this so hopefully we'll have something that'll work uh And it's going to be one of those fluid plan planning kind of things. We're just going to have to see how it goes. But anyway, I guess that's pretty much it for now, guys. Um, going to have to kind of call it, go back and visit with Tractor Supply and see what I can come up with here. Or maybe find somebody else that I can buy stuff from. But... Uh, try to be back tomorrow with another video further developments and stuff because it's not supposed to be raining what a novel idea maybe you'll be able to hear me better meanwhile thanks for watching and we'll get back to you later